B is Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was gonna miss this. Time for our tale of... Sugar Ray Robinson, one of the most skilled boxers to ever lace up the gloves, inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990, and he fights out of Harlem, New York. Tartan Tornado, Josh Taylor, one of the most aggressive in-your-face fighters in the world today. Watch out for this hard-hitting southpaw who fights out of Scotland. This is going to be an intense stare-off before the fight starts. The fighters are ready to go. Let's hear the official introductions. We turn it over to the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This Under the bright lights here... What a fight we expect this one to be. Both of these athletes primed and ready. This fighter has not shown us much defense at all. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this showdown. Situations like this, Todd, will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Caught him with a heavy punch. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. A counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. If you're fighting a counter puncher, you've got to dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Both men step back for just a moment. He missed with that jab. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Good counter punch. I promise you, all three judges. Well, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Counter punchers, my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. I hope this fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Huh? 
Someone's will will cave, but which spider will it be? Both men step back for just a moment. And he misses with that jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. Throw a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. He just misses with that big right hand. Catch and shoot. Still swinging with nothing left. That punch scores. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. You'd like to see more jabs. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Nice counter. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage. And there's the bell to start round three. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. There's a right hand. Good counter punching. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Insane action! One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through willpower? Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I gotta respect both of them, more than happy. Halfway through the round and there's not a lot separating these two. On her right. Another scoring shot there. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. And he just missed with that left jab. Both men step back for just a moment. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one.
What would you tell this guy? Bye. On to the fourth we go. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You gotta be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off, be smart, because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone, he knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Neither man really defending themselves. That counter shot lands. Which fighter will say no moss? Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots and they're coming at lightning speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Both men step back for just a moment. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. He misses with that jab. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. We didn't know who was going to win, and in the end, no one did win. This fight ends in a draw. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.